people out there who hire clowns, I know they're still in demand. What is the difference between uh, a regular clown and Aladdin Shrine clown? Because you said that you thought it felt it's one of the premier groups. I do. I think it's uh, one of the things uh, that makes us unique is the standards that we set. Like I say, I was an apprentice for several years, and it's because a group, the actives had to say, yes, you are good enough to be an Aladdin clown now. Uh, there's a lot of people who think uh, that, uh, you know, they just go to a store and buy uh, some red, white, black makeup and just smear it all over their face, you know. And usually what happens is uh, they're, they're too garish looking. They, they, uh, they put a huge mouth on and they maybe a huge nose and, 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 and big, maybe blue around their eyes and a, a big afro wig out to here. And really, it, it's uh, uh, frightening to kids. If they come out of kid and the kid, my gosh, what's wrong with this guy? It, 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 I, I do play Santa Claus at Christmas time, and Santa Claus from a distance looks fine. But you know, all that beard and all that hair, when a kid gets up close, it, it can be very intimidating. And that's usually a mistake a lot of uh, first timers. Uh, uh, first time uh, clowns are called First of May. And uh, that's usually when the circus starts for the year, and they start for the year. That, that's just the side. But uh, that's the mistake most people make: is, is they uh, put uh, their their features on their face are too huge. Mm 